Many people fall into the laziness trap and they end up doing nothing their entire lives. Just because a job or a school project or any sort of project doesn't require a specific skill set doesn't mean that you shouldn't learn that skill set. I don't care what you're doing. If you don't provide people, not just your coworkers and your bosses, but just the people around you, if you don't provide them with first class work, then you are doing something wrong. You won't grow as a person. You won't grow in your company. You won't grow in school. You won't achieve anything. You won't do anything. You'll just sit there your entire life doing what is required of you and going home. You should always be striving to do more, more and more. I don't care if you need to add, fill out the document. Hell, fill it out as best, as good as possible. Make it look as good as possible. Whatever you're doing, whether you're typing up a Word document, Make sure that the Word document looks as presentable as possible, as professional as possible, and don't make it look like some 12-year-old 12 12 year wrote it. Grow up. It's time to grow up. In school, I don't care what you're doing in school. I don't, I don't care what you're doing. You most probably have enough time to give more, more, and more. For example, the school just started a few days ago, and I'm already done with two courses two courses and I'm already done. Because during the summer, I dedicated two hours, only two hours to study these two courses and to complete them. And this time that I have right now, I will be recycling it. I'll be using it to finish even more courses and focus on my YouTube channel and maybe going to the gym, of course, you know, and doing all of the things that I need to do. Once you start providing people with first class work, once you strive to be the best possible in your company or in school or wherever you are, people will look at you like you're, like you're their leader and you will become their leader. People will respect you. People will admire you. You'll have respect attached to your name and people will take you seriously. So that's very, very, very important. Always do more than is expected of you. If, if, you, if you're assigned a book to read and you're given a time period of, let's say, two weeks, finish the book in a day or two. You can do it, especially in the beginning of the year, once you're meeting your teachers for the first time or your bosses for the first time. You do that in the beginning of the year and you set a great impression for yourself. People will, will take you seriously and respect you. And this will give you a lot of room to grow, a lot of opportunities in the future. Your boss or your school teacher or whoever it, it may be will look at you like you're this respectable person and they will provide you with opportunities. And this is the thing that I'm trying to tell you. You do first class work. By the way, you should read the book called um, Thinking Big. It's a very good book and it covers what first class work is. But in summary, if you do this first class work, it'll become way easier for you to grow as a person and grow in your field of work. Way easier. I mean, if you're just going to sit there and give whoever it may be the thing that they want, just the thing that they want, They'll look at you like an average employee, an average student. But if you go above and beyond and you provide them with something that they've never seen before, they've never experienced before, oh, you best believe that you're going to climb up the ranks. You're going to become somebody. You're going to achieve your dreams. You're going to achieve your goals. So always strive to do more than is expected of you, better than is expected of you, because there's always room for improvement, especially in the working environment, in the work, in the workplace and the, you know, the education environment. These two places, they have tremendous 
amount of growth with a little bit of effort. Doing uh, just a bit more work requires a bit of effort. It doesn't require a lot of effort. Maybe in the beginning, yeah, it'll require you, you know, a bit of, you know, extra effort. But after the beginning, after you have proved to everybody that you're this, you're this high value man or woman, people will respect you more, people will expect more of you, and people will give you opportunities in life. And opportunities is what you want. You want to run after opportunities. I can't tell you how many opportunities I've gotten in my life. And I swear to you, it is all because of me putting in this just little bit of extra work, tidying up my work, making it look nice, tidying up my PowerPoint presentation, uh, finishing courses early. This gives a good impression of you. So go out there and give it your absolute best and you won't regret it.